I kind of have a love-hate relationship towards it. So messy! Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine, and some of you guys might actually recognize me from my own YouTube channel, That's So Yin. I primarily focus my videos around makeup, skincare, and random bits about my life. So today I'm actually going to be reviewing the Marbadescu Drying Lotion. For this review, I have been using this product for two weeks on and off. I did start with acne on my right cheek and then slowly as the week progressed, I started getting more acne on my forehead. Now, for years I have been really loving this product because it really helps my acne whenever they are one, first starting to appear on the skin and two, right when they're ready to pop. I wouldn't recommend using this product if you have under the skin acne or or cystic acne or anything that's just really hard to remove. Um, so with that, I would recommend going to an actual dermatologist to see what products might be best for you. But if you are suffering from you know, hormonal acne or anything like that, um, I don't think that you'll find much benefit in this product when removing the acne spot itself. This product contains three key ingredients, one of them being salicylic acid, which helps exfoliate the skin. Sulfur is going to be used to absorb excess oil and to declog your pores, and calamine is is meant to soothe the skin. This product retails for $17. It's also vegan and cruelty free, which hits so many points for me. I love that about it. And I love the fact that it is readily available in a lot of retail stores. So you could just literally walk in, grab it and use it that same night. If you've seen these in stores, you notice that there is a buy layer. So you do want to not shake this up. You want to make sure that the layers are completely settled before you go ahead and use this. If at any point you accidentally shake it or you go home and it's been shuffling around your bag and it's already shaken, then don't worry. Just leave this overnight and it'll settle itself and then it's ready to be used. So once you go ahead and use this, you want to just take a Q-tip and you want to go straight down all the way into the pink sulfur and then you want to just take out the Q-tip and then you can apply it. I would not recommend double dipping. Um, you really don't need to double dip most of the time, but just to be sure, don't double dip. You want to make sure you're using this at night because you're going to be sleeping in it. And then once you wake up, you're going to rinse it off. So my nighttime routine consists of me cleansing my skin, toner, essence, serum, moisturizer, and then oil. And then when I'm ready to go in with the drying lotion, I will go ahead with some water on a Q-tip and I will clean the surface of my acne spot. Then I'll go in with another Q-tip and I will use the drying lotion in those areas. And then I'll just wait for it to dry before I go to sleep. So as we see here, my problem areas are mostly my cheeks and a little bit on the forehead. My skin's actually looking pretty good right now, so I don't need a whole bunch, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dip in once in my Mario Badescu lotion, and I'm just going to go ahead and dot over the acne spots. All right, so it's the end of the night. I am ready to just take off my makeup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put on a headband. I just put this on to get my bangs out of the face. Um, I'm also going to be using my Shiseido Refreshing Cleansing Water. Now I'm going to dispense this in my hand just a little bit, just enough so that I could, you know, just soak up it all in the Q-tip. And then what I'll do is I will start taking off my fake lashes. And this is a great way for the lashes to fall off easily without tugging or, you know, ruining the lash line. So just take a little bit of time to gently remove this. You can use any micellar water. In the past, I did use oil, but I found that that ruined my fake lashes, so I stopped doing it. Um, and so I just stuck with the uh, cleansing water. Just repeating this on the other eye. I put a lot of glue in the inner corner, which is why it's always the most stubborn to get off. But, okay, there we go. No more eyelashes. So I'm actually gonna go over to the sink and I'm going to cleanse my skin with the Glam Glow Cleanser. Um, this one is the Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. I got this in a BoxyCharm. She's pretty okay. She's like not my favorite, but she does the job well. Um, I do double cleanse with this. So I'm actually gonna go over to my sink and cleanse the skin. 
So I cleanse my skin. I'm looking a little bit red, but that's okay. I'm actually gonna go straight into my Shiseido softener. Now I do have the one for dry and very dry skin. I do have normal skin, but I love to hydrate myself as much as I can. And since it's actually winter right now, I want to deeply hydrate my skin. So I'm gonna use a lot of different moisturizing agents in my skincare routine tonight. Um, we're gonna start with the softener. So what I'll do is I will take one pump it's not a full pump by the way because it goes such a long way and I will evenly spread this across the skin and neck and then I'll pat it in I'm gonna follow this up with the Shiseido Ultimune now this is going to allow all the other products that I'll be putting on top of it sink in a lot faster and a lot better I'm only taking one pump and I am evenly just spreading this across the skin and then with whatever is left, I'm going to apply this on the neck. I'm then going to use Tatcha The Essence. This stuff isn't necessarily my favorite, um, but essences are supposed to just allow everything to sink in better as well. Um, this one in particular, I don't know if I see a huge difference. I have been using it for a year now. And I just feel like it's one of those products that I only want to use um, when I just really need additional moisture, but I don't really think that this is a miracle product by any means. It is $100, so um, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. I forgot to add the Ultimune Eye. So this one is the same as the regular Ultimune, but this is just going to go underneath the eyes. It's going to allow the eye creams to sink in a lot better. I don't even use a full pump of this. Like I just use such a little amount, and I will actually just massage this under the eyes and then on the eyelid as well um this is the caffeine solution and hyaluronic acid serum this is for the under eyes but i actually just use it for the entire face i just feel like it just deeply hydrates with that hyaluronic acid and also kind of just plumps it up and I don't know, just gets it going with the caffeine. So I'm going to just use the rest of this up. Um, it doesn't go in the dropper anymore, so I'm just going to dump it out like this. And then I'm going to start on my neck here. There's no particular reason why I want to start on my neck, but sometimes, just depending on how I feel, I will start on the face or the neck first. Now with this product, because it is targeted under the eyes, I go really in all over the skin and all up in the eye area because I wanna make sure that my skin gets like an even coat of this. Usually after serums, that's when I will go into any type of treatment. So if we look closely, I do have acne scars. So this is completely flat skin. Um, for that, I use the Derma E Scar Gel. This is a lifesaver. Um, I use it every single time after I have an acne spot that has now faded. Um, so I'm just going to apply this on both cheeks because I have a little bit on this side as well. For all over moisture, I'm going to be using the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. This is so amazing, it smells so good, and it definitely gives you glass skin. Like, it's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna take a little fingertip amount and I'm gonna warm it up between my fingers and I'm going to just apply. So I wanted to zoom you guys in because right now the forehead and the cheek um, they don't have acne, but I do have one right in the nostril area right here So what I'm going to do is I am going to clean the area with the Shiseido cleansing water And I am just going to make sure that there is no product there before I apply the Mario Badescu drying lotion So this was the side that I used the cleansing water and I'm going to dip the clean side down into the Mario Badescu drying lotion. So just unscrew this and what you want to do, you want to just take the Q-tip all the way down and then all the way back up. You don't want to double dip with this. So I'm just going to get the mirror really close again. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on for the rest of the night. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep with it on. And then in the morning, um, we're just going to take a look at what the acne spot looks like um, and see if it diminished or not. Um, right now, it actually is um, pretty raw, so um, I do feel it like stinging a little bit. Um, so I know tomorrow it's definitely going to go down, but I will do a check-in just so you guys can see. Good morning everyone. So today is the day after I initially applied the drying lotion. I went ahead and I rinsed off the excess product that I had on my nose. So I wanted to actually just show you guys up close and personal what it looks like the day after. So let's go ahead and zoom you guys in right now. Now, last night, my pimple here, it had like a little white spot um, on the top on the surface and right now it's just all red the main difference though when I was taking uh, the extra product off you know just me rubbing it my pimple doesn't hurt uh, all throughout yesterday it was really hurting it was in so much pain so I feel like with a pimple this size and that was hurting I would give this a day to rest so the next time I would use a drying lotion would be tomorrow night and I just feel like you know since it's in a pretty uh, hidden place in my nose it's, it's not um, something that I'm insecure about so I'm happy about it not hurting anymore I'm happy that you know it's not as uh, under the surface as it used to be um, and now I could just actually go along my days normally so I hope you guys enjoyed that little close-up um, and I feel like with every single acne spot it's all so different um, there are some that literally go away within one night some nights you have to you know continuously use it um, it kind of just depends like what you're dealing with so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, and let's go on with the video Usually for small acne spots, it usually takes, you know, two uses for it to really just go away. So my cheek now is actually pretty clear. This is the end of my little testing phase. So my cheek here is pretty clear. Um, I do have a acne scar, but the lotion itself isn't going to do anything about the scar. It's more so about the impurities within the pimple and just shrinking it in size or just preventing it from spreading. And then as far as my forehead is concerned, my forehead now is really clear all that's left are the small bumps but it's not acne bumps it's literally just uh, skin I find myself really gravitating towards the Marbadescu drying lotion especially when I am super stressed so that's going to be times like finals week or times where I'm about to start my period and I just get a whole bunch of acne um, those are the times where I feel like I will get a lot of spots around my face and then I'll need additional help to help clarify the skin for this whole bottle, this usually will last me maybe a year, so I feel like for $17, that's a pretty good investment. I would like to rate it maybe a 4.5 out of 5. I will take the 0.5 away simply because it's not going to treat every type of acne spot out there. Um, there are some acne spots that this just works better on, and for me, it's the ones that are just now um, showing and then the ones that are just now leaving. So, you know, I appreciate the fact that this will Will definitely help but it's not going to treat all types of acne but the good thing about this product is is that it's also meant for all skin types so no matter if you have normal oily combo dry skin you could definitely use this it's not going to affect your skin type at all it's just going to target that specific spot that you want to target and just like that, you guys, that concludes my review on the Marbadescu Drying Lotion. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I hope that some of you guys mosey on over to my YouTube channel, That's So Yin. I am always going to welcome you guys with open arms. I love reading comments, and I respond to every single comment. Fun fact about my channel. And as always, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!